Is it weakness? Is it weakness? You decide. Y'all know what happens on Earth stays on Earth. Ha! Psych. This is Big Brother Breakdown. I'm Trey Lesio, the dawn of entertainment. We have a lot, a lot, a lot to get into and a lot to break down this week. So let's get right into it. Yo, ladies, showing off a little taco meat. Don't get lost in the forest down there. Keep your eyes right here. Holla at your boy. All right, so let's start off here. Last week, we left off with the new HOH, which was Joshy Boy. The meatball, baby! He, um... Played the little golf game, got the highest score, and got the HOH. What do you know? And uh, so, first off with that, we have the Temptation Challenge. Uh, this year, normally they do a black box type thing where they it's pitch black, they can't see anything, and they have to crawl around, pull a lever or two, and try and find something or try and get a low uh, timed score. Um, this year, it was more of a scare box. It was a haunted house type theme. And... Uh, and they had to find clues uh, based off of letters, and it ended up spelling heart, and they had to go and hit the timer, and the quickest time got the win. And, uh, of course, who do you think wins? Good old uh, Robot Cody. He gets the W, he gets safety for the week, and guess who loses? Jessica. Um Part of her kind of gave up and just didn't want to play because she was scared. The other half was part strategy. Um, very ballsy move because you basically have to bank that you're going to win the POV. Uh, she knew she was going to go up anyway, so she figured uh, why play in this and force them to uh, put someone else up, obviously, um, banking that Cody was going to win, so, I mean, a lot of banking on this, and uh, she's going to bank that Cody or herself will win POV. We'll get to that in a few minutes, but uh, so Jessica loses the Temptation Challenge. She will be the third nominee, and Cody wins, giving him safety for the week. That takes me to nominations. Josh nominates Mark, Elena, and then Jessica is the third nominee. Now, Behind closed doors, Josh says that Elena is the target, which honestly is kind of stupid. Um, it's just not a smart play. I get what he's trying to do. Um, he's trying to dif differentiate his HOH from Paul talking in his ear the whole time. I get that he wants to be his own man. I get that he wants to do his own thing in his own HOH, but... Honestly, getting Jessica out is the smartest play. Uh, the dude didn't get it, and uh, behind closed doors, he kept saying that he wanted Elena out. He actually campaigned a little bit to get Elena out. Uh, we'll get on. Uh, we'll get going with that. Uh, what actually happens? But uh, so Mark, Elena, and Jess are on the block. That um, takes me to Otev, the POV. Uh, good old Otev was a little dark this year. Uh, the the pig uh, scrolled the eyes back and became the devil, basically. Spitting slime on all of them. It was a fun comp. It was just a little weird. Uh, but who wins this one? Of course, Marky Mark gets it. Uh, in the process, he almost... I thought he was going to um, push down. It came down to him and Alex. And uh, Alex lost the... Uh, shoe soul that she had to carry up to win um luckily that it honestly looked like mark was gonna push her out of the way i was like damn but uh mark gets the pov of course and uh takes himself down obviously and um then we come down to the pov uh replacement nominee and christmas throws a kink into things so remember when christmas was tempted with the ring of replacement uh that came into play this week and she used that to so basically she has the opportunity to um, replace herself with somebody to play the pov and who does she use it on cody now a little tidbit before this so um, they were contemplating Christmas and Josh were contemplating not using it and possibly using it down the road, possibly to screw Paul, which honestly would have been a good strategy um, if they chose to go that route. But um, 
truly the smart move was to get Jessica out this week. Um, why the hell would you get out Elena? She hasn't really done anything. Um, I know she's a number and she is annoying to you, but the right move was to get Jessica out. And um, I know, I know, Josh had this this thing going, and uh, but Paul honestly made the biggest the biggest point out of all of them and the point was jury's coming up this week is not going to jury next week's eviction is going to jury so the idea is to get one to get Jessica out she's not going to jury Cody will be going to jury because if they team up in the jury they're both going to vote the opposite way out of spite and that's just that just fucks the whole thing up so uh that's a it's a it's a good thing that J Josh um went basically he gave Christmas the okay to give this ring of, re of replacement so Christmas replaces Cody in playing the POV Mark wins the POV pulls himself down they put Raven up just as a pawn and a uh, lot a lot of moves going uh this week and so that takes us to the live eviction um, obviously, it's Jessica unanimous minus uh, Cody voting for Raven to go home. Uh, so Jessica goes bye 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 boo boo. Uh, we won't miss your cattiness. We will miss your hotness, but we won't miss your bittiness. Uh, so peace out. Have fun. Um, I'm sure that's what everybody thinks. I will give Chris. I excuse me, Christmas. I will give Jessica this. Okay, she was actually playing the game. She was a good competitor. Uh, strategic wise, she was actually a good player. Um, Paul is definitely running the show. Uh, from a gameplay aspect, he's doing big things. I mean, he has all his minions, and they're doing what he says. He can do no wrong, and it's kind of crazy. Uh, but, you know, from the a fun of a season aspect... It, that's it's not that fun to watch honestly because Paul is just controlling everybody. Um, I read somewhere on Twitter that Matt, the salt and pepper bearded dude, uh, he told somebody that he's willing to be upon the rest of this game. Like, what the hell are you even there for? I wanted to be on the show. I would have been a super competitor, and <laughs> like, it, it just floaters kind of annoy me. I get that it's a uh, it's that's a strategy, but. This dude wants to be a pawn the whole time. It's it's just insane to me. Um, so where was I going with this? So uh, Jessica gets evicted, and um, the new HOH goes to Alex. Um, who knows what she'll do? My guess is she's going to um, probably put up Cody, probably. And uh, who knows if she'll backdoor him or just put him up straight up. I would assume that either Mark or Elena will be the next one Um to Cody this week um, so we'll see what happens comment what you think will happen uh, I have a few tidbits a few notes now um, Josh Josh said his target was Elena I thought that was really stupid um, I like to break this down from a strategic aspect uh, aspect I'm a big big brother fan I'm a super fan I auditioned to be on the show I'd love for in the future to be on the show um, so I like to see big players ba make, make big moves Josh I mean why the hell would you want to get a lane out you, you, like I said earlier Paul made the big point of splitting Jess and Cody up at the jury so they can't team up and make a, an opposite vote I mean you got to go with the flow um, I understand making big moves, but that was the correct move to get Jessica out. Now, the reason why he flipped and eventually went for Jessica, uh, they had a big blow up beef and uh, it really, it really was not necessary and it was just kind of not good for the show. Um, a lot of negativity this, this season and uh, it is what it is, but Josh, that was not a smart move. The The dude is truly a meatball. And uh, we'll see where he goes from now. Uh, I have a note on the ring of replacement slash POV. So, honestly, that would have been the perfect time to flip the entire game and go after Paul. Think about it. So, so Christmas replaces Cody. Cody can't play. Um, then you have Mark who won which you didn't know was going to happen. So think about this. 
think about it like this. Paul is running the show. He can do no wrong. Everybody blindly trusts the guy. Think about it like this. <laughs> that was the perfect opportunity to put him up blindly because Christmas and Josh kind I think if anybody's going to flip on Paul, it's going to be Christmas or Josh, surprisingly. Um, I'd like to see somebody else take the reins and um, play the game a little bit. We'll see what Alex does with this new HOH, but... That would have been the perfect opportunity to put up Paul because he is running the game. I like Paul. I'd like to see Paul win. I think Paul should have won last year. He should have beat Nicole, in my opinion. But the dude is running the show, and as much as I like the guy from a game aspect, I think that would have been one of the biggest moves in Big Brother history uh, with the ring of replacement and the POV coming down. That would have been the perfect opportunity to backdoor Paul and make a big splash. No one would have, uh, no one would have seen it coming, and that would have shook up the whole house. But we'll never know now. Um, they're still gonna keep falling, and probably until the end. And that's just what it is. Um, so it comes down. Now we're into the jury. So the next evictee will be in the jury calling the shots. Um, so they they have to make. They have to take that into account, and it's going to be a big deal. Uh, another note, uh, next week is the double eviction that I've been talking about. There's always one in Big Brother, and uh, it's going to be crazy, man. You you could see something as far um, as, as crazy as Cody winning it and sending... Paul home in the blink of an eye because that second that second one they have to get they have to get the show within the hour and they need to there's really no time to think so think about if 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 Cody wins Paul could probably go home it's it's like that it's a blink of an eye when it comes down to double eviction and uh it's it's crazy it will be crazy there's also a Friday episode so that will be interesting um We'll see what happens there. We'll see what Alex does. Like again, uh, comment and vote who you think she is going to put up. Um, it's been a crazy season. It's getting even crazier, even juicier. Um, so this week, a little short recap. Um, Jessica goes home. Alex wins. Who will she nominate? Uh, Double eviction next week. I'm Trey Alessio, the dawn of entertainment. This is Big Brother Breakdown. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on all social media accounts. This is Are You Entertained? We'll be back for more. Thanks for watching. Peace.